And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review. Hello, I'm Spencer. And I'm Laura, and we're Married with Board Games. In this video, we're going to take a look at Three Cheers for Master from Atlas Games, designed and illustrated by Daniel Winfeld Schmidt. Now, Master has been blue lately. And when Master is blue, it's the minions who suffer. So you are going to control a team of minions to try to build the best cheerleading tower that you can. Now, if your cheerleading tower is better than your opponent's, you win. Let's go take a closer look at it. Three Cheers for Master is a game designed for two to six players. Mm -hmm. Average gameplay lasting around 20 to 40 minutes. Which I would say when we played our couple of games, they fit right in that sweet spot. Right, usually around 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, Recommended for ages 13 and up, and we do agree with that, it simply mm -hmm. because of some flavor text that would just be better suited for 13 and up. It is a take that style card game. And it I'm, is for sure. I'm sure I've probably said that a couple of times she since did. I played my card. And um, it uses a hand management mechanism. Could you tell us a little bit about how a round goes? Right, um, as we mentioned before, you the whole point of the game is to build a cheerleading tower. So the wider you can make it, the higher you can make it, uh, the more points you're going to get. But that's difficult because the minions, well, they like to take out aggression on each other even though they're on the same team. They'll have little arrows on here that point which direction they're going to uh, throw out their their aggression. Um, and so it may go one way or the other way, up or down. Some also have shields to where they don't take damage from that side, so... And some have multiple arrows, which gives them priority... Right, exactly. Others ...in their aggression order. And so you're going to want to be real strategic about, on your turn, where you want to place those minions. Not only on your tower, but also on your opponent's tower. Hence the take that. <laughs> right. Um, so on a basic turn, what you're going to do is you'll, you'll start out with a hand of three cards. And um, so on your turn, you will play a card then you'll play another card. You can move your four minion. Now your four minion is a special minion who hops from minion to minion. Now Starting that, at the bottom and working up. Right, and um, at the end of the game, wherever he is, he acts as a multiplier. Um, so the higher up he is, the more points he's going to give you. So that's part of another of your actions on your turn is moving the four minion, or you don't have to, you can leave him. Um, then you're going to discard your third card, or you can keep it, that's optional as well. And then finally, you'll draw back up to three cards. Now, turns will go like that um, as you go from person to person. Mixed in the deck is what's called a big hairy fight card. When you come up upon those, a big hairy fight will break out, and what happens And that's then? when the aggression is carried out. Exactly. Um, you never know when those are gonna show up, so it's all random. <laughs> and then finally, yeah, sometimes we get to a point to where it's like, um, surely, a big hairy fight won't break out now, and then, of course, I it... think it's been twice in a row when I was drawing up to three in the middle of drawing up to three. Right, hairy yeah, fight, time twice to in carry a row. Out aggression. It was pretty mm -hmm. crazy. Um, and so then you'll go like that, and then finally, towards the bottom of the deck, based on how you set it up, you'll come across a master is coming, so that's a warning that master is about to come here. And then when master does arrive, you will resolve two hairy fights in a row. Um, and then when that happens, just your tower basically crumbles. And then whoever has the tallest tower, you calculate your score based on multipliers, how many levels, how many cards on each level, and whoever has the highest score after that point wins the game. The game comes with six four minion tokens, 79 minion cards, 17 order cards, nine big hairy fight cards, one master is coming card, one master is here card, three trait reference cards, and the rule book. So this is an example of a minion card. Um, this, this minion is called Poe. He's a raven lunatic with lots of bad news to deliver. Do you, do you get it? Like, Edgar? Yes, okay. thank you. Okay, um, so anyway, so that's Poe. Um, but if you can look at the card, you can see the quality. It's, it's really good quality uh, card. And um, you're, you're not gonna, you know, fray this, or it's not going to come apart on you unless, of course, you play it every day for the next 30 million days. Or, like, gets wet or something. Right, well, yeah, you don't want to do that. Um, but I would say, overall, it's a very good quality card. Um, now, let's take a look. Do you have a card to show? For Let's, let's highlight some of the artwork. Yes. Uh, this is something 
that I love. Uh, this is, or someone rather, other than you, sweetie. Oh. Um, this is Spooner. Uh, can you read that text? Has a deadly utensil for every devious deed, as long as it's a spoon. So, <laughs> so that's Laura's favorite. But I love the flavor text. On it's that one. the the artwork, of course, is as dark, um, but it's still kind of cartoony. As far as, I have to admit, it makes me think with the coloring and everything of it as a mix between um, World of Goo. And um, oh, the yes. trolls from the behemoths, um, Castle Crashers. Ah, uh, yeah. The yeah. trolls, mm -hmm. the little black furry guys. Yes, the, the video games. Yes. From those video games, right. yes. Um, it, I've, that's what it reminds me of. But it's, 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 it's well done. Um, like I said, it, if it's your style, it, it may not. But um, we like it. And then this is an example of like a, a movement card. You can swap cards as this option right here, or you can move one card one way or the other. Only to an empty spot, though. Right. And th these are options. You don't get to do both. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one or the other. And you may find one that also has... Um, this deflect on it, so if someone tries to put a minion in your tower, you can deflect it with that one. Um, there's also the option here on the bottom to trigger aggression on a specific minion mm -hmm. if you want to. Within your tower or your opponent's tower. Right. Um, as far as your four minions go, they're, they're little pieces of cardboard, um, but hey, it's high quality cardboard. Um, <laughs> they, uh, they punched out pretty well, wouldn't you say? Right, yeah, it it wasn't the kind that as soon as you punch it out, you have to start being so ginger with it to complete punching it out because you think the face is going to rip off. Um, the the facing is very well bonded to the cardboard piece. Yes. Um, and they're they're just the right size, I think, because you are using them to move up the tower. You don't want to completely cover your card. No, um, you don't want to cover that beautiful artwork. If anything, the coloring is what distinct it makes it so distinct within the tower so that your opponents can tell even from across the table where your foreman minion is placed right and then the final thing we have is the rule book um it's it's a pretty basic rule book it's got it's got great reference because it has a lot of diagrams yes mm -hmm. uh, very easy to follow along i enjoyed and also um just because of some of the little special icons you may note uh on the cards uh it's it's nice to have this reference Available, there are trait cards as well within the deck. Um, those are those three minion trait cards that I mentioned um, that come with the game. All right, so let's talk about what we liked, what we didn't like about the game. Um, I like the concept. Um, well, that's why we bought this game, is we read the back of the box and just the whole idea of building this this cheerleading tower with these zany minions. Um, to cheer up master. To cheer up master, yes. Um, just really appealed to us. And so that's why we bought the game to begin with. Um, and as far as, you know, the different types of minions, um, and they're really funny. Yes, the flavor text um, written on these, although again, some of it's not appropriate for ages right. under 13, but oh my goodness, they get me. <laughs> yes, they get our humor. Yes, um, oh, it, it's great. That's that's the whole, it's a, it's a rule, not in the rule book. You have to read the, the flavor text out loud before you play the card. I like how simple a turn is. Play a card, play another card, um, move your min four minion if you need to, then discard your third card or keep it, draw back up to three, mm -hmm. and on to the next. So simple and easy to keep up with. I mean, you can go buy it, head home, unpack it. You can start playing within about... 20 minutes after you've read through the rules, learned how to build your deck mm -hmm. right. with the masters coming in, masters mm -hmm. here card, how that has to be distributed. Now, as far as the take that aspect of it, you know, some people don't like that, that style of game. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't like a, you know, ha ha, take that. If you don't like that kind of game, this probably isn't for you just because that is a heavy, a heavy aspect of this game. Um, as far as for a married couple, we've only played this just ourselves. Um, we didn't have really any tense moments, but uh, I guess it, you could That's take... part of being married. Yeah. I guess you could take it a little too far. If... I would be curious to mm -hmm. see, because like you said, we've only played two player, and it does go up to six players, and we have not 
had the opportunity to mm-hmm. try that yet. So that would be interesting to see about some people in our game group playing that. Right. A larger group. Now, we do have to mention the, the biggest, I don't know if you call it flaw, it may just have been a, a misunderstanding on our part. But when we initially played the game, based on what the rules stated, we assumed that the arrows, no matter which direction they were pointing, um, could attack, the minions could attack other towers, right? Exactly. Um, it does state in the book that if you're playing a two-player game, they want you to sit side by side as opposed to across the table from each other. When that happens and you're building a towers, two towers next to each other, I mean, logically, you would think your aggression would carry over to the next tower. Right, and it does say in the rule book, um, basically regardless of, of what happens, aggression will always follow the arrows. Mm-hmm. Um, it didn't to say... To the minion at the other end of the receiving of the, which way the arrow is going. Right. That's where it's supposed to go. And so we just assumed that meant it could carry over to the next tower. And then when you're playing across the table from people, because there are minions with arrows that point straight up, mm-hmm. so you would think you'd be hitting their minion. But if that just didn't make sense to us, so I contacted Atlas Games, and they were very quick to respond. They said, no, only your your minions attack your minions. It's a self-contained tower. It is tower. contained within the tower. Aggression does not leave your tower. So that, like I said, it, for to us, it wasn't clear in the rule book. And it totally changes my tactic in playing. Right. Um, I had been setting up my shielded minions along the side opposite of Spencer so that it would block any aggression coming from any of Spencer's right. minions in his mm-hmm. tower. That's... That's not the idea behind it. Um, you want you want to play your most aggressive minions on your opponent's tower and shield within your own tower to maintain structure. Right. So, like I said, we may have read that a little bit too literally, but at least to us it wasn't clear. Um, it never states aggression stays within the tower. So, but other than that one thing in the rule book, I feel like everything else was pretty clear on how to play the game as we talked about earlier, how quick it was to pick it up. Mm-hmm. Um, but overall, um, I would say it's a, it's a, it's a pretty solid game. Um, I would be interested to see it with a, a six player count to see how that changes things. Um, but bottom line, what would you give this game? I'm gonna give it a nine. Um, there are other two player. I mean, would you say that this is a game like a quick game that you play between the big heavy ones? Probably. I wouldn't exactly put it as a filler game. It's one yeah. one step above a filler game, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, not you don't have to think too hard about it, um, but it does take just because you have to get through the entire deck. That's why it, it doesn't go as quick. That's why it can take a little bit longer. Um, but I, I would say that it's, it's definitely a lighter game compared to some of the other ones. And, and we have filler games or, or some that are not that light that I like a little bit more than this. Um, right. I, I, would, I would give it an 8 or a 9. And I would say I'd give it a 7. Mainly because I'm not, after we played it, I was like, this is fun. But I wasn't itching to play it again. All in all, it is fun. Um, Easy to pick up. Easy to carry around. Easy, very easy to carry around. Compact. And we liked it. Well, that is a married couple's perspective on Three Cheers for Master. But we want to know what you think of the game. Be sure and leave us a comment in the section below. You can also follow us on Twitter at... MarriedWithBG. And we're going to box this one up for now. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.